In the comics, Batman is often described as a peak human. The idea is that he doesn't have any superpowers as such, like Superman, but that he represents the pinnacle of what's possible for a human being in terms of their athletic performance, their intelligence, their knowledge, their skill set, and that's part of what makes him so compelling and so inspiring because we think that, theoretically, anyone could become Batman. So that's what I want to address in this video. Is there really such thing as a peak human? And if so, would a peak human come close to Batman in terms of their skill and strength and speed, etc? Or is he just too far removed from what's possible? If it is possible to become Batman, how would you go about doing it? And how could we go about doing it in a way that wouldn't completely ruin our lives and cause us to die very, very early? So I've touched on this subject once before, I made a Batman workout video and that was quite popular. That was back when I didn't have quite the same video editing skills or the same equipment though, so I thought I'd go over it again. Not only that, but that was a Batman workout video, it was a bit fun and also it didn't cover what it really takes to become Batman, because Batman isn't just a super strong guy who can run really far, he's also a guy who has a huge skill set and an impossible IQ. And so that was what I wanted to address. Would it be possible to become Batman in every respect, or how close could we really come? So obviously Batman's super strong, and I'll touch on that again in a moment, but one of the things that came up a lot in the comments on that previous video was his martial arts prowess, because there was a bit of a debate as to whether Batman knew all the martial arts or only 127 martial arts. Either way, pretty impressive, I think you'll agree. But I'm pretty certain there's no way he could possibly know all of the martial arts. Obviously it depends on which comic you read because he's a fictional character and it obviously depends on which writer is writing at the time and what suits the plot, but in reality you couldn't really learn every martial art because you couldn't even really define what a martial art is. Martial arts are cropping up all the time and even within all the major martial arts, so you've got like karate, you then have your sub-styles like Shotokan, Wadaru, Gojuru. So I learned Wadaru Karate, which included grappling and um, some elements of pushing hands, whereas my friend did Shotokan, which was a much, much more um, harder and more strike-focused version of karate, so they're very different. So, and even within Shotokan and Wadaru, you have sub-styles and people branch off and create their own. In the Christopher Nolan films, Batman uses a particular martial arts style called the KC Fighting Method, and this was very new at the time and I believe it's been abandoned since and that's a style of martial art that wouldn't have even existed when Batman was invented so the point is you couldn't possibly know every martial art because they're constantly being uh, added to and it's hard to say what a martial art is I mean would you know you know wrestling would you know Mexican wrestling would you know capoeira would you know tai chi you know it's hard to say that all those things would be relevant or useful to him but he obviously had a very wide uh, martial arts experience. And on top of this, Batman also has a ton of other skills and a ton of other knowledge. He's probably ambidextrous because it would make sense to be able to use both hands equally in a fight. He knows forensics, he's probably a polyglot meaning he speaks multiple languages. He uh, can code break, he can probably program, he's certainly an engineer because he's building stuff all the time, he's great at business, he can pick locks, he can throw knives, he can climb ropes, he's probably great at rock climbing. There's just such a huge uh, range of different things he knows. And the question is, could you really study all those martial arts and learn all that stuff at once? And the answer is, it would definitely be very difficult. So there's a great video on the origin of Batman by the Imaginary Axis that looks into a lot of how Batman's training was depicted in the comics, etc. And they suggest that in order to have learned so much in such a short space of time, he might have used a specific sleep schedule called the Uberman schedule. This involves breaking your sleep into short um, little bursts so that you go straight into REM sleep rather than just sleeping eight hours through the night. And that way, in theory, you can get by on much less sleep. So that would right away take his hours during the day from 14 or 18 all the way up to 20 or 22. So now he's got more time in the day to learn more. And while Batman's whole bag is that he's human and he doesn't need superpowers, a genetic mutation that really exists in some humans might 
give someone an edge if they were trying to replicate Batman's accomplishments. A mutation on the gene DEC2, for instance, has recently been discovered to cause people to need a lot less sleep. They can get by on four to six hours of sleep instead of eight and perform completely normally. I'd also suggest that you probably would have learned specific uh, learning strategies. So it is shown in the comics that he learned speed reading, for instance, and that he developed a photographic memory in order to memorize much more. So already he's taking in a lot more information, a lot more quickly. And then Batman might have used specific learning strategies in order to absorb this information more quickly. There's the Feynman technique, for instance, which involves learning to teach someone something and then going through a set of steps to make sure you properly understand and consolidate that information. Then there's Tim Ferriss's DIS method. I'm not suggesting that Batman used these specific methods, but I'm saying that if somebody wanted to learn more things more quickly, they might also use this kind of strategy. Likewise, if someone was that set on learning such a huge range of different subjects, then they might use nootropics. Obviously this is a subject I've covered on this channel before, but you have basically brain drugs which enhance your concentration, your memory, your focus, even your creativity in some cases. I've discussed this on the channel a lot and I've pointed out that none of them is a perfect solution. In fact, I don't really recommend many of them other than the kind of natural um, nutrients and things like that that can just support brain function. But if you're Batman and you didn't care so much about your health or you know getting along with people, then you might be tempted to use this as a strategy to learn faster. For instance, modafinil is supposedly used by a lot of the highest performing CEOs and entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley. Well, you could use modafinil in order to sleep less. It was originally developed as a narcoleptic drug. So you could use that to sleep less and at the same time increase your focus and your memory to learn quicker. Again, I'm not recommending that you do it and I'm not saying that this is what Batman would have done. I'm just saying that if a real life person wanted to absorb this much information in a short space of time in order to become a master of multiple subjects before they reach their 30s, then you'd probably want to combine all these different strategies, learning techniques, nootropics, and avoiding sleep. Batman would also likely have wanted to increase his brain plasticity. This is the ability of the brain to gain new connections, to grow new neurons, and generally to allow you to learn more things more quickly. This is greater when you're younger, and as you're older, brain plasticity slows down. But you can boost it in a number of different ways, and I've discussed this on my channel too. You can do it with transcranial direct current stimulation. You can do it with certain nutrients, certain nootropics. Uh, in one recent study, Valproate was found to massively enhance brain plasticity, even allowing adults to gain perfect pitch through training, which is pretty impressive. You probably wouldn't want to go that far, but turmeric can slightly increase your brain plasticity, as can magnesium threonate, and neither of those is going to cause any major side effects. So now we have a Batman who has perhaps got a genetic mutation that allows him to sleep less. He's also using the Uberman schedule to need to sleep even less. He's probably started at a very young age. He's enhanced his brain plasticity. He is using various learning techniques like the Feynman technique. He's developed speed reading and photographic memory and all these things will allow him to learn a lot more quickly. Whether or not he can still learn that much by the time he's hitting the streets and doing his rounds as Batman is unsure, but certainly the idea that you need 10,000 hours or whatever it is to become a master might be an idea that you can barter with and negotiate with and perhaps using all those strategies he could have learned more martial arts and more skills in less time. Holy stuffy! But Batman didn't just learn all these things, he did it all whilst building the perfect body, ultimate strength, speed, stamina, reaction time, so he'd have to do all that whilst learning as well and he'd need to use a rather intense training schedule in order to be able to achieve all the feats the comics show him achieving and yeah that would likely kill you because now you've got barely any time left in your day you're not sleeping so you're not recovering and you're just training balls to the wall if you read the book the batman files it details a rough idea of what his workout would look like and it involves him doing huge amounts of compound movements with heavy weights then going for massive long runs um, all on the same day and doing various types of calisthenics, rock climbing, ring dips, bag, heavy bag work. Combining all this 
often multiple sessions in a single day and not really having any time to rest and he's doing all this at the same time, stretching, etc. So could you really do all that at the same time as learning all that? Well, there are certain techniques that can help you to speed up your recovery. Obviously, there's supplements in the book. Uh, I think it's called Becoming Batman, the possibility of a superhero or something like that. Um, it's postulated that he'd have to eat something like 4,000 plus calories a day just to give himself the energy to do all this training and do all this learning. He'd also need to eat huge amounts of protein. He'd probably want to take that in a very bioavailable source. Boom, and now I'm in my vehicle, the Biomobile. Okay, so actually my wife and I call it the Duchess because it's so old, but stately. Anyway, I just wanted to say that there are also many supplements you could use in order to gain more energy and to enhance your recovery from your training. I've talked about these a lot on this channel as well. For example, Cordyceps. Uh, that's a very useful supplement for preventing adrenal fatigue, possibly increasing testosterone. Um, lutein seems to be a very useful supplement for increasing uh, energy from your mitochondria, as well as possibly increasing brain plasticity. Um, another good one is cacao or any form of vitamin C, which will help you with recovery and preventing illness. And that's something else Batman would have to do. He'd have to really strengthen and fortify his immune system. Cold showers could help him to do that as well. Generally, he can't get ill ever because you can't have an ill Batman and he'd probably never recover after the amount of abuse he'd put his body through. There's obviously plenty more creatine, omega-3 fatty acid, um, everything like that. Um, coenzyme Q10, you probably spend a whole fortune on supplements to increase his energy. And then he'd probably want to enhance his anabolism in other ways. He might also use um, contrast therapy, hot and cold, in order to speed up his healing from wounds and from his training, you know, the same way that some athletes do. And I touched on this in my Batman workout video, he would quite likely have used some kind of steroid. Um, Again, in the comics he doesn't, except for that one time where he uses this imaginary drug called Venom. And I'm saying as a character he wouldn't do, but if you were someone who was genuinely trying to become Batman and you didn't care about the side effects or the health, you just wanted to become the most powerful person, then yeah, you'd probably use steroids. I mean, Batman doesn't care about having a long, healthy life. He cares about being as powerful as he can to wipe up crime on the streets in the short term. So this is this imaginary person. Um, Batman is someone who doesn't need all those things in order to accomplish everything he's done. He's a, you know, an ideal. He's not supposed to be realistic. He is the best that a human can be and that includes his morals. So he doesn't use drugs of any kind. Then you have regular humans who just couldn't accomplish it. But if you wanted to be as close to Batman as you could be and you're willing to sacrifice everything, then not only would you have to give up all your sleep and all this, but you'd also probably have to take steroids in order to recover that quickly and to become that strong without that training just crushing you. Because not only is he doing all that, but he's then going out and he's fighting on the streets as well, causing himself huge injury. So yes, if you were that serious about becoming Batman, it would probably be possible to become pretty darn close by dedicating your entire life to learning, training, and giving up relationships and your business. You'd need some kind of stream of income that meant you didn't have to spend eight hours a day in an office, for example, Batman. Uh, inherited a fortune and left the running of his business to someone else. You'd also probably need to live with scars and aching joints and likely you'd need to do drugs. So yeah, becoming Batman is not really achievable for most people. So just how close could a regular person come to becoming Batman? What would you have to do in order to be a bit more like Batman? Well, first of all, you'd need to do some kind of training program that focus not only on building strength and size and appearance, but general performance. And this is something we're seeing a lot more these days with CrossFit, whether or not you like it, the whole objective is that you're training cross modalities so that you're faster and stronger. I'm interested in using specific techniques for building strength, such as static contraction, which I've talked about a lot on this video, overcoming isometrics. These are similar techniques used by the likes of Bruce Lee to build power without necessarily building bulky size and speed, etc. On top of that, you need to do a martial art. And if you're dedicating a lot of time to your training, 
and to martial arts etc then you would probably want to do some kind of job where once again you wouldn't use up too much energy or too much time so again this is something that I'm interested in so if you watch one of my recent blogs I've talked about how working from home and running an online business has allowed me to dedicate a bit more time to my training and my hobbies and my interests basically allowing me to pursue my demented aim to become more like Batman. I've also introduced something else into my training recently because I'm interested in becoming more like Batman. So I work out five days a week, four days of those are regular training. I do a push-pull workout followed by uh, legs and abs, followed by cardiovascular weight loss etc. So day five is now my skills training day because I write on my website about all the stuff I'm interested in in my research, things like becoming ambidextrous, jumping higher, uh, running faster, climbing techniques, parkour, etc. But when are you going to really get the time to do all those things? Well, that's what I've dedicated my fifth workout to. So this is when I'll do things like flexibility training or um, coordination or reflexes or um, left-handed training. So on this one day, I do all the kind of cool, fun stuff that won't necessarily build muscle or create micro tears or metabolic stress, but it will allow me to hone other skills that other people wouldn't necessarily have, grip, strength, etc. I've only just started, but it's a lot of fun, and I train for fun, obviously. I'm not seriously required to become like Batman, so yeah, I would much rather spend a day doing rock climbing with just my hands and then some left-handed training rather than doing some boring preset workout routine. So I'm enjoying that, and that's something that I recommend to you if you're more interested in you know, developing useful athletic prowess rather than just muscle for show. And of course you need to keep learning, keep uh, discovering new things. This is something that you can do for your job. As a writer, I'm fortunate that I often get paid to learn subjects I don't know, often ones that I'm interested in. And I spend a lot of my free time learning new programming languages, taking on new challenges, etc. My favourite technique for learning more quickly is to know what you want to achieve and then work backwards from there. Having a goal in mind helps you to learn faster. So for instance, instead of learning to program in Java, know what you want to make in Java and then learn the code you need in order to make that thing. It makes a lot more sense when you have it in that context. So I'm always working on projects and that's always helping me to learn new things. Obviously I'm always writing about subjects like ambidexterity or brain plasticity from my website as well. And on top of that, I would highly recommend that everyone do meditation. It's something I've only just recently started, but if you want more energy to do more, and also the kind of mental discipline and improved brain plasticity as we've discussed and focus, then brain plasticity will help you to accomplish that. You need a lot of discipline to be like Batman. Um, you need a lot of discipline to stick to any training regime. And that's why learning to focus and to keep your mind quiet and free from distractions for a while is something that everyone can benefit from and it does give you a boost in energy. I recently, I recently watched a video where uh, celebrities were talking about how important meditation was to them and many of them said how it gave them this boost in energy that allowed them to accomplish much more. Seinfeld in particular I remember was saying that to him meditation was something that let him work harder and longer and he thought that if he had learned to meditate sooner he would have continued to put out a lot more work for a lot longer before kind of reaching burnout. So bear in mind a lot of us are kind of burned out from modern life before we pile a ton of crazy training on top of it. Using meditation could be just the tonic you need to increase your training, etc. Also for the average Joe looking to do his best to become as close to Batman as possible without sacrificing his entire life, supplements are a great way he could get more energy, or she, and thereby get more done, whether that's focusing on their projects and their learning, or whether it's their training, and getting more out of themselves. So the supplements that I would recommend if you're on a limited budget and you just want to enhance your um, recovery and your strength and your energy levels, probably creatine, certainly, protein shake, whey protein, um, lutein I seem to be a big fan of right now, omega-3 fatty acid, cordyceps mushroom. And again, you can look at all the videos on this channel for more inspiration on different supplements you can use to boost energy, etc. I do not recommend that you sleep less. You're gonna need your sleep for recovery, for building muscle and uh, cementing the things you learn during the day. That's when the most brain plasticity occurs. What I would say is try and increase the quality of your sleep so that you have more energy during the day and maybe you can get by on a little less. 
Um, one supplement that might be able to help you do this is magnesium 3 and 8, which uh, helps you get off to sleep and also increases brain plasticity during sleep and helps you raise testosterone, especially if you also combine that with some zinc and some vitamin B6. So that's something you can try. And finally, have some kind of goal and some kind of drive because, you know, Batman's an imaginary character, but the writers recognise that most people aren't going to train like that. His psyche is the focus of a lot of the stories. What is it that drives him? Obviously for him, it's revenge and justice and a fear of bats. And this is what gives him this kind of insane drive to become better and become stronger and to sacrifice his relationships and his body, etc. in the pursuit of Batmaning. You're not Batman, you probably don't hate crime to quite the same degree as Batman, and so you're going to need your own drive and your own motivation. You need a goal that you're passionate about and that you can work towards, and that will drive you towards that improvement. And ultimately, that might not mean that you need to learn forensics or lockpicking, but you can become the Batman of your own life by becoming that passionate and that driven, learning that much, training that hard, having that same single-mindedness, and accomplishing whatever it is that you set your mind to. And that's how you can really become Batman in your own life. So guys, I hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, then please check out the article on my website where I go into more detail and even more in-depth discussion. And please consider leaving a like down below, maybe leaving a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If there's anything I missed or any tips you have, then please let me hear them and stay tuned for the next one. I've got a whole lot more on the way. I'm gonna be talking about old time strongman techniques, um, Bruce Lee's diet, uh, brain training through virtual reality, the GPD pocket for productivity, and tons more. So yeah, thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and bye for now. Of course, the real way to become Batman IRL is to subscribe to the Bioneer.